Um, if you'd like, I can give you a tour of my wheel. If anyone is interested in spinning or knows about spinning, um, this is definitely not a standard wheel. This is a Franken wheel that I, I cobbled together myself. So it's very different looking. But let me see if I can disentangle the camera enough. And you y'all can just come with me on a magical ride. There's background dog sleeping on the spare bed. Eh, there's chair in the way. Here we go. All right, so you come down here to where I sit. There's where I put my butt and here's where I put my feet. This is a Singer sewing machine treadle base. Um, the outer edges here say Singer. You can't see that. They're in shadow. Uh, this is... I do not have a shop. Um, I know a lot of people do Etsy stuff and yarn stuff like that, but I do not have one. A lot of the yarn I make is just gifts. Maybe if I keep doing streaming consistently, I'll do like a, a drawing or something. And anyone who follows me or watches or something can uh, be part of that and you can get some yarn that I spun. But so yeah, this is a cast iron Singer treadle sewing machine base. This is the, the foot pedal and the rocker bar, the footman, the crankshaft, the drive wheel, the drive band is the, oh God, look at that grease. I got a clean down here apparently. The drive band is the newest thing on here. As you can see, it's a synthetic kind of plastic something or other. Or maybe you can't see, it's very shadowed down there. There's the drive band, my phone's going, making noise. The tabletop of this spinning wheel is I had a table cast on just like that when I was little. I'm pretty sure it was a singer repurposed just as a tabletop. Yes, actually, my computer setup right next to it, that's you guys on stream, um, is also another treadle sewing machine base with just a tabletop on it. So yeah, uh, it's a really fun thing to do with old bases that have no sewing machines left in them. My mom had one of those when I was growing up. She kept it as a sewing machine though, nice. I don't know what happened to the sewing machine part of this. Um, what started the whole assembly was I got the base for free and I had to justify keeping it um, because I live in a tiny house. So there's the base. Also, there's all our, a bunch of our Spidermans in the bottom of the cat tree. There's the cat tree, there's a background cat, but he's not here right now. Uh, the tabletop base is actually wall art that I cut notches into for these support rods over here. Boop, 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 boop. And there's a gap here between the edge and the actual table base so that the drive band has room to come up from the bottom. Um, these nubbins, this guy and this guy, and then these posts of the dark wood that all sort of match are from an antique table. I found them in an antique shop as like a set of eight and they had all been sawed off of the tabletop. I don't know what happened to the tabletop, but they decided not to keep it as a full thing. Um, so I just selected two of the legs and used them as parts uh, on a regular spinning wheel. These would be called the maidens. This tabletop would be called the mother of all because it holds the whole assembly up. Um, and then the flyer came to me from Facebook Marketplace. I found a really nice lady in Canada who is was willing to ship to California and just packaged up. She only it only had this one bobbin and this whole flyer assembly. Um, it does have a less appropriative term. I forget what it's called, but this was also this would also be called a Indian head spinner. Um, anything that kind of comes like this in a really right angled, straight, simple flyer shape. They also tend to be a lot bigger than other flyer assemblies that I've seen. So this bobbin can hold up to a pound of yarn. As you can see, it's holding a whole bunch of yarn right now. Um, we have this little support over here from one of the maidens to hold up. There's a little divot here where the the wheel, um, where the flyer assembly would naturally like sit on a platform of some kind. In this case, it is sitting on this bar 
that holds it up and then this pulley which helps support it so that not a bunch of rubbing weight is put on the bar because then otherwise it would squeak and squeal really bad. Um, this little guy here is our brake. So the more I twist this, the more friction gets put on the flyer and that makes the flyer and the bobbin spin at different speeds. And that means the yarn or the fiber gets taken up onto the bobbin more quickly. Um, the drive band here in this setup drives the bobbin directly. There are a bunch of different setups for spinning wheels that can um, go either to drive the flyer for the spinning part or the bobbin for the spinning part or both at different ratios. So it's, the, the world of spinning wheels is crazy. I don't know everything. Um, I don't remember terms very well, so... Um, thank you for the Spidermans. We love collecting Spidermans. We call these particular shapes Fat Cousins. So we have this round orb guy style. And we have giant bean style from the uh, Tsum Tsums from Disney. This one just happens to be wearing Mickey ears. This guy I got on a trip to Japan. He's very squishy. And he's got a little fat body behind him. All laying down tired like. We have early Peter. Um, oh my god, what's the newest Spider-Man? What's the newest Spider-Man? Who's the newest Spider-Man? The cute young one. Not uh, Tony. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Jesus, thank you. Uh, we have early pre-costume hoodie Tom Holland Spider-Man guy. But yeah, we collect Spider-Mans. They hang out all through our house. And our cat doesn't use this basket, so I collect them down here. We also have some sheeps. I've started as part of my yarn spinning journey. Thank you! Oh my goodness, that name totally flew out of my head, especially after the latest Spider-Man where they all came together. Um, so, part of my spinning journey is every time I try, every time I spin a new breed of sheep, I try to make a little sheep out of that yarn. So this is Finn. Um, it's usually, uh, it can come in brown, it can also come in white, and I think um, like a medium black. This is Jacob. It's this sort of gray color because this is a mix of the darker, uh, the naturally darker gray sheep and the white sheep. And that just, those fibers just got blended together. You can kind of see this nub's a little darker where the dark stuff dominated the spin. And then this is Suffolk. So these three sheeps are so far what I have, I've spun more fiber types than this. I'm definitely gonna make a sheep out of this guy because I know I have enough. Um, the rest of this spinning project is gonna go into a skirt so I can make some of my own clothes. So I'm gonna put these guys back over here on the other part that the cat doesn't use and hope he doesn't find them all of a suddenly interesting. Oh, I mean, I can use the other Gotland, and maybe he won't be as large or floofy. I don't know. Please hold while I put the camera back in place. Oh dear, sorry. Sorry about that. All right. Ugh, come back to your chair. But yeah, welcome everyone from the raid to my channel as I was signing off, so I decided Instead, let's uh, give a little tour of the wheel. I've been meaning to do that because you can't see it from this new camera angle um, that I recently set up. And I can't get with, with uh, the house reorganization that we recently did, I can't get a different camera angle. I used to be far enough away from the camera that you could see a lot more of the wheel. Um, and I know this angle isn't very flattering to actually show off the wheel, so. There's that. 